Hello, Mananda. Great job writing more essays. Nice to see you preparing so hard for your IELTS. So let's get into these corrections to see what you wrote. There are many people who are of the opinion that employees should stay in the same occupation for their entire lifetime career. On the other hand, many other people believe that you should change jobs once or more during your career path. I strongly believe that workers should change their occupation at least once during their career. Okay, the only things that I would change here, because you could see that it read very easily, it was accurate and very nice, I would change this, their entire lifetime career. We don't really call it that. We either say lifetime or their entire career. Okay? Um, other than that, it was fine. I didn't see anything else that should be changed. So, nice job with your introduction. Firstly, by changing career paths, a person is able to gain more experience. This is largely due to the fact that it is a new environment with different expectations. Moreover, exposure to a new management style could also help a person develop new skills. Take, for instance, the infamous Cape Town singer, Brenda Fassi, who started her career at the age of 21 as a piano teacher, which helped her to develop her love for music and, here you want, be able, not being, okay, to compose music. At the age of 30, she became a singer and songwriter, writing all of her, writing all her own songs. Ultimately, changing career paths teaches a person more skills and further develops their career. Lovely. Very nice. No comments at all, no corrections, so it was really, really well done. All right, let's move on. Secondly, a different line of work pre prevents boredom at work and also prevents, um, you need to say, you need to say who prevents employees from becoming stagnant. stagnant. Okay, you're missing those two little words there. This is attributed to the fact that with a new job, there is a change in a worker's immediate environment and job requirements. Therefore, adapting to a whole new skill set. Take, for example, a recent article in the newspaper, the Cape Times, where the interviewees were employed by the same employer for their entire career. Feedback from 90% of these interviewees confirmed that they felt bored at work, were not able to change jobs. Here you go. Were. Because, I mean, you're talking about people. The 90% refers to people. I know a lot of people get very confused about this. But because it's referring to people, which are separate things, um, then you should say here, uh, you should use the plural. And they were not able to change jobs due to their lack of experience in other work. And they were of the opinion that they had no growth opportunities as their skills hit a ceiling. All right, nice. Therefore, it is vitally important to change careers in order to, to prevent stagnation in work life. Lovely. To conclude, if more employees change employment once or more during their lifetime, then they will not become bored at work and would be better skilled employees. Mononda, very nice. It's a nice essay. It read very easily. I had very few comments about it, so it was well done. All right, let's take a look at this now. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Brown, my name is Wananda Prislu, and I will be staying with your family during our school's English and Homestay program. I live in the beautiful and sunny Cape Town, South Africa, and I'm looking forward to the snow season in the UK. Lovely. I have a few questions that I need your assistance with, please. How far is your home from the school? And will I be able to walk to school, or is there a bus stop nearby? Kindly let me know of all the alternative methods of transport available. Okay, now, um, I'm, uh, here's my feeling about this essay. Uh, when I read the task, I ask myself, is it formal or informal? Um, you don't know these people. Okay, yeah, you're going to stay with them, but you don't know them. You've never met them. So my feeling is that it should be formal. Okay, and this is one of the first decisions that we have to make when we're writing a letter. What is the register? Is it formal or is it informal? And so, since uh, we've decided that it's formal, you need to use some formal conventions in letter writing. And one of those is using indirect sentences. Okay, so instead of saying how far is your home from the school, will I be able to walk to school or is there a bus stop nearby? You need to make it indirect. So. Uh, could you possibly let me know how far the school is, uh, how far your home is from the school? Also, please advise me whether I will be able to walk to school or if there is a bus nearby. 
Okay, and then the rest of the paragraph is perfect. Then, is there a cafeteria at school where I can buy lunch or is lunch included as part of the school's fees? So again, just make it less direct. And um, I've already explained how you can do that. So it's not that it's the grammar is wrong, it's just not the right tone for a letter that you're writing to people you don't know. Um, okay, and then, which shops are in close vicinity of the school where I can buy food or any other daily essentials that I might need? All right, uh, we're on to the same thing, really, okay? So just um, modify these sentences so that you're using indirect expressions, okay? And also remember the modal verbs. Um, I haven't really seen much. Um, so modal verbs like would, could, should, may, might, all right? These are words that, you, that we need to see in, um, in a task one like this. Okay, so my flight is scheduled to land at Heathrow on Saturday, 14th of April. I'm looking forward to meeting your family and getting acquainted with the UK lifestyle. Okay, full stop here. Um, you know what? I wanted one little thing here. Uh, you know what? No, I didn't want any one thing. You did it here. You said I'm looking forward to it, so it's fine. All right, kind regards, Wananda. All right, so Wananda, it's really, really, really nice. Um, I liked your essay. I told you what my one concern was, that I wanted more of this indirect language, more of this formal language, because you don't know them. So uh, other than that, the grammar was good. The vocabulary was excellent. So um, it's really nice. I feel like you're doing a very good job. You're certainly on your way, and uh, I'm confident that you're going to do well. So keep writing and I'm looking forward to seeing more of these from you.